Hello everyone and welcome back to my playlist of anatomy. Today we are going to discuss urinary bladder and urethra and this is chapter number 30 from Bidichorosia volume number 2. So the urinary bladder is a temporary storehouse of urine which gets emptied through the urethra. So you know the excretory system, your kidneys make uh, urine that is the site where all the filtration happens and then we have uh, ureters which transfer the urine into a temporary bag, a balloon like a structure and that balloon like structure is known as the urinary bladder and ultimately from the urinary bladder urine nikal jati hai by way of urethra so that is the structure ke ureters urine ko lekar ke aayenge kahan se from the kidneys or empty karenge kahan into the urinary bladder which is a balloon like structure or it is a temporary storehouse isme jama hogi urine or jab it is full and when there is urge for urination to urethra ke through urine body se out ho jayegi so that's the structure okay there is an external urethral sphincter and this is the sphincter urethrae which is placed proximally in the wall of the urethra and not at the terminal part so the external sphincter is uh, little beyond the terminal part of urethra in case of pylorus and the anal canal the sphincters are placed at the terminal end but in case of urethra it is present before the terminal end the male urethra subserving the functions of urination as well as ejaculation so the male urethra usme se urine bhi bahar aata hai aur sperms bhi bahar aate hain so the purpose of urination as well as ejaculation uh, yani ki expulsion of semen or male urethra is a very long structure because abhi hum jab iska structure padhenge isi video mein then we will talk about ki it travels all the length of the penis so the penis ki puri length hai usme se ye urethra guzarti hai to it is a very long tube jabki female jo hai urethra it is very small structure 4 cm long and it is only uh, you know used in the body for urination uh, no reproductive liquids come out of uh, the urethra in females now let us dive deeper into the structure of the urinary bladder it's a very important structure if you imagine dekhi body mein kuch jagah hain jahan pe liquids store hote hain gall bladder is one of them and urinary bladder stores urine so it is a muscular reservoir of urine so it's a reservoir because it stores urine which lies in the anterior part of the pelvic cavity so it is present in the pelvis the detrusor muscle of urinary bladder is arranged in whorls and spirals and is adapted for mass contraction rather than peristalsis hamari body mein ek general organization hai ki jitne bhi tubular structures hain chahe wo ureters hi kyun na ho intestine bhi tubular structure hain the tubular structures have peristaltic movement you know when uh, so for example if this is a long uh, tube like structure to ye part agar contract ho raha hai to pichla part relax ho raha hota hai aur ye contraction ki wave aise aage move ho rahi hoti hai this is called peristaltic movement jabki bladder ka yahan pe jo detrusor muscle hai iski wall mein uska function hai ki sare ka sare ek sath contract hota hai mass contraction ise hum kehte hain so it acts like mass contractile organ इसका जो साइज शेप है वो जरा बात कर लेते हैं द ब्लैडर साइज वेरीज एक्चुअली इट डज बिकॉज ये डिपेंड करता है कि ब्लैडर एम टी है या भरा हुआ है इस पर बड़ा इसकी पोजिशन भी इसका साइज भी इसकी शेप भी सब वेरी करता है अकॉर्डिंग टू द अमाउंट ऑफ यूरिन इट कंटेन सो द साइज इज वेरिएबल द शेप इज वेरिएबल एंड द पोजिशन इज ऑल्सो वेरिएबल अभी हम पढ़ेंगे इसके बारे में वेन एम टी इट लाइज एंटायरली इन द पेलविस बट एज इट फिल्स अप इट एक्सपेंड एंड एक्सटेंड अपवर्ड इन टू दबडामिनल कैप reaching even up to the level of the umbilicus or even higher i mean that's amazing so if this is your torso for example these are the lower limbs these are the upper limbs so in the pelvis area usually this is uh, your empty bladder or ye agar suppose aapka umbilicus hai so agar ye bladder bhar raha hai bhar raha hai bhar raha hai urine se and the person is not urinating yani urine uh, pass out nahi kar raha to ye jo bladder hai it can go even up till the level of umbilicus aise bhar ke ya isse bhi thoda upar ja sakta hai पर्टिकुलरली अगर यूरिनरी रिटेंशन का प्रॉब्लम है सो दी अम्बलाइकस लेवल या इससे भी ऊपर तक यूरिनरी ब्लैडर भरा हुआ होगा सो इट इट हैज दिस कैपेसिटी इस बलून की कैपेसिटी देखें इतनी ज्यादा है एक्सटर्नल फीचर्स में दी एम टी ब्लैडर इज यूजली टेट्राहेड्रल इन शेप इट हैज एन एपेक्स और एपेक्स जो है वो इट्स इट्स काइंड ऑफ अ पॉइंटेड स्ट्रक्चर सो हेयर इन दिस डायग्राम यू कैन सी दिस इज द एपेक्स ऑफ द ब्लैडर एंड इट इज डायरेक्टेड फॉरवर्ड्स टुवर्ड्स द एंटीरियर साइड ऑफ द बॉडी देन देयर इज अ बेस व्हिच इज आल्सो कॉल्ड फंडस इट इज डायरेक्टेड बैकवर्ड सो दैट्स द लेटरल व्यू दिस इज द फ्रंट ऑफ द पर्सन दिस इज द बैक साइड ऑफ द पर्सन सो टुवर्ड्स द फ्रंट हेयर इज द एपेक्स एंड दिस इज द बेस ओके दिस इज डायरेक्टेड पोस्टीरियरली टुवर्ड्स द बैक 
there is a neck region which is the lowest and the most fixed part of the bladder so neck is the most fixed part because uske niche pelvic structures hain prostrate hai so neck is the most fixed part of the bladder then there are three surfaces superior surface right surface and left interior lateral surface so superior surface uh, inferior lateral surface and uh, there are few borders as well uh, two lateral borders ek is taraf lateral border hoga ye then there is another lateral border on this side so two lateral borders there is an anterior interior border and there is also a posterior border so four borders are there two lateral borders one interior one posterior to ye empty bladder ki usually boundaries hain lekin jab bladder full hota hai there is a full bladder is a wide in shape it now becomes oval there is still has an apex which is uh, towards the uh, you know umbilicus forward direction mein anterior direction mein there is a neck that is directed downwards and there are two surfaces only anterior and posterior surface dekhen agar empty hai bladder to uski surfaces three hain lekin agar full hai bladder to uski sirf do surfaces hain anterior and posterior okay so ye aapko yaad rakhna and becomes a oval you know structure it uh, almost loses all its borders lateral border and posterior and anterior border so it loses almost all the borders now some relationships which are important for you to remember regarding the urinary bladder iski jo apex hai it is connected to the umbilicus actually by a ligament which is known as median umbilical ligament which actually represents the obliterated embryonic urethra so embryology mein ye baat humne discuss ki thi here in this diagram you can appreciate ke jo इसका एपेक्स है इट हैज लिगामेंटस अटैचमेंट ग्रीन रंग की चीज जो है ये लिगामेंट है दिस इज द मीडियन अम्बलाइकल लिगामेंट व्हिच कनेक्ट्स इट टू द अम्बलाइकस अम्बलाइकस के साथ इसको कनेक्ट करता है तो ये हैंग हुआ हुआ होता है पूरा ब्लैडर बाय अटैचमेंट टू द अम्बलाइकस जो इसकी बेस है रिमेंबर द बेस इज टुवर्ड्स द यू नो पोस्टीरियर साइड और ये लोअर साइड पर इन फीमेल्स इसका रिलेशन डिफरेंट है मेल्स में अलग है इन द फीमेल्स इट इज रिलेटेड टू सर्विक्स एज वेल एज टू वजाइना जबकि मेल्स में इट इज यू नो कनेक्टेड और एटलीस्ट रिलेटेड टू द अपर पार्ट ऑफ द बेस सेपरेटेड बाय द रेक्टम एंड द रेक्टो वेसिकुलर पाउच एंड इट ऑल्सो कंटेन्स द क्वाइल्स ऑफ इंटेस्टाइन and the lower part is related to the seminal vesicles so a small intestine uh in this area and also seminal vesicles so i think seminal vesicle we can see in the diagram here as well so this is the bladder this bit is the bladder and here you see towards the base are the seminal vesicles and the ducts of seminal vesicles okay so these are the relationships in male now the neck is the lowest and the most fixed part of the bladder it lies 3 to 4 cm behind the lower part of the pubis symphysis so pubis symphysis is an important landmark in a lot of different uh, things can be remembered from here humne jab uh, inguinal canal padha tha us waqt humne iski baat ki femoral sheath ki baat ki femoral artery femoral nerve midpoint of the inguinal ligament midpoint on the inguinal ligament ye sari cheeze trace hoti hain with the pubis symphysis so pubis symphysis uh, is a very very important landmark इसके बैक साइड पर इसके पीछे मौजूद बिहाइंड दिस इज प्रेजेंट द नेक ऑफ द यूरिनरी ब्लैडर ठीक है एंड इट इज पियर्स बाय द इंटरनल यूरिथरल ऑरिफिस ये भी हम थोड़ी देर में बात करेंगे मेल्स में नेक के बारे में कुछ स्पेशल बातें याद रखनी है और फीमेल्स में भी इन द मेल्स द स्मूथ मसल बंडल्स सराउंड द ब्लैडर नेक एंड प्री प्रोस्टेरिक यूरेथ्रा ये टर्म आपके लिए न्यू है लेकिन हम इसको भी थोड़ी देर में पढ़ेंगे यूरेथ्रा के तीन पार्ट्स होते हैं प्री प्रोस्टेरिक यूरेथ्रा और डिफरेंट पार्ट्स अदर वी विल टॉक अबाउट दीज डिफरेंट पार्ट्स सो एक पार्ट है यूरेथ्रा का व्हिच इज बिफोर प्रोस्ट्रेट सो इट इज नॉन एज प्री प्रोस्टेरिक यूरेथ्रा दीज आर अरेंज स्मूथ मसल्स की बात हो रही है आर अरेंज इन डिस्टिंक्ट सर्कुलर कॉलर विद देयर ओन डिस्टिंक्ट एड्रिनर्जिक इनर्वेशन दिस इज द प्री प्रोस्टेटिक स्फिंक्टर एंड इट इज डिवाइड ऑफ पैरासिम्पैथेटिक सप्लाई इट इज पार्ट ऑफ द प्रोक्सिमल यूरेथरल स्फिंक्टर मैकेनिज्म सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मेल्स में जो नेक का रीजन है दिस नेक रीजन इज यू नो यहां पे स्मूथ मसल्स हैं ओनली इनर्वेटेड बाय सिम्पैथेटिक सप्लाई एंड दे मेक पार्ट ऑफ द यूरेथरल स्फिंक्टर मैकेनिज्म प्रोक्सिम अभी हम पढ़ेंगे इसके बारे में थोड़ी देर में जबकि फीमेल्स में द नेक इज रिलेटेड ओनली टू द पेल्विक फेशिया विच सराउंड द अपर पार्ट ऑफ द यूरिथरा देर इज नो स्पिंगटर मैकेनिज्म देयर इन इन्फेंट्स द ब्लैडर लाइ एट अ हायर लेवल द इंटरनल यूरिथरल ऑरिफिस यानी जो अंदर की तरफ ऑरिफिस है यूरिथ्रा का व्हिच इज इमर्जिंग फ्रॉम द ब्लैडर एट द लेवल ऑफ द सुपीरियर बॉर्डर ऑफ द प्यूबिस सिम्फेसिस इट ग्रेजुअली डिफेंस इन द एडल्ट पोजीशन आफ्टर प्यूबर्टी सो बच्चों में ब्लैडर की पोजीशन थोड़ी सी हायर होती है दैट्स द बॉटम लाइन ओके 
Now let's talk about uh, some special features of the superior surface of urinary bladder. Males may jo superior surface hai, it is almost completely covered with the peritoneum or jo superior surface hai, us pe you can imagine there are uh, you know loops of uh, colon such as sigmoid colon and coils of uh, small intestine particularly terminal ileum. Achha, females may uh, it's not all the superior surface which is covered with peritoneum there is a small area which is actually not covered with the peritoneum and it is related to the uh, you know part of the cervix the supravaginal part of the cervix this peri uh, the peritoneum from the superior surface is reflected to the isthmus of the uterus and here uh, there is a pouch formation there is a peritoneal fold mere peritoneal fold par alag se lecture video maujood hai usko zarur dekhiyega so that you understand what we are talking about the vesico uterine pouch kya cheez hai theek hai so superior surface most of this is actually covered with peritoneum in males and a small part ko chhod ke baki sara is also covered in females ab jo infero lateral surfaces hain uh, when we say the infero lateral surface that basically means uh, these are inferior side pe hongi and lateral side pe hongi that's how you have to remember the infero lateral surfaces to inferior side pe hongi naam se hi zahir hai na infero lateral surface so there is a inferior part and the lateral parts so the infero lateral surface ye infero lateral surface jo hai isme peritoneum nahi hoti pehli to baat ye it is devoid of peritoneum and they are separated from each other by the anterior border and from the superior surface by the lateral border so if you uh, try to figure out on this particular diagram so you see here uh, try to see where is the anterior border this is the anterior border okay इस एंट्री बॉर्डर के एक तरफ राइट साइड की इन्फीरो लेटल सर्फेस होगी और दूसरी तरफ लेफ्ट साइड की इन्फीरो लेटल सर्फेस होगी तो ये कह रहे हैं कि द टू इन्फीरो लेटल सर्फेसेज आर सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम ईच अदर बाय द एंटीरियर बॉर्डर एंड फ्रॉम द सुपीरियर सर्फेस बाय द लेटल बॉर्डर तो ये देखें ये लेटल बॉर्डर है तो इन्फीरो लेटल सर्फेस और सुपीरियर सर्फेस के बीच में क्या है लेटल बॉर्डर एक साइड का इन्फीरो लेटल सर्फेस और दूसरे साइड का इन्फीरो लेटल सो ये सारा इन्फीरो लेटल सर्फेस है और ये भी इन्फीरो लेटल सर्फेस तो दो इन्फीरो लेटल सर्फिस के बीच में कौन सा बॉर्डर है एंटीरियर बॉर्डर ठीक है सो so, ये लाइंस आपको इस तरह से डायग्राम के साथ समझ में आएंगी मेल्स में ये जो इन्फीरो लेटल सर्फिस है इट इज रिलेटेड टू प्यूबिस the pubo prostatic ligament females may obviously pubo prostatic ligament nahi hoga because there is no prostate in females there is retro pubic fat levator ani muscle and obturator so these are the relationships of the you know inferior lateral surface in males females mein it's everything the same sirf prosto uh, pro pubo prostatic ligament nahi hota uski jagah pubo vesical ligament hota hai because it's female now as the bladder fills the inferior lateral surfaces form the anterior surface because it bulges like a balloon of the distended bladder ek balloon ki tarah se phail jata hai phool jata hai jab usme urine bhar jati hai which is covered with the peritoneum only its upper part the lower part comes into direct contact with the anterior abdominal wall because it is filled and bulging there being no intervening peritoneum so jo bhi peritoneal covering hai distended bladder ki most of it starts becoming uh, you know lost this part can be approached surgically without entering the peritoneal cavity so if there is a distended bladder you can actually you know uh, put a needle into it and empty the bladder and you are still not entering the peritoneal cavity but you need to know what are the peritoneal folds and peritoneal reflections of a full bladder and an empty bladder because obviously sochein is bare mein you would not like to enter into the peritoneal cavity so agar ye bladder hai and it is uh, covered with the peritoneum aur aap yahan needle dal rahe hain so you are into the peritoneal cavity or then you have chances of introducing bacterial infection peritonitis and later complications but if you directly enter into the bladder you are fine because you are not entering into the peritoneal cavity okay now very important heading is the ligaments of urinary bladder the bladder is supported by a few structures and ek to humne already pad liya hai so if i get get you back to this diagram this is the apex of the urinary bladder and ye ligament hum already pad chuke hain jo isko umbilicus ke sath jodta hai and this ligament is called median umbilical ligament theek hai but there are some other ligaments which you have to remember for example there are lateral true ligaments of the bladder which extend from the side of the bladder to the tendinous arch of the pelvic fascia Yeah, so let's try to find them out on a figure so that we understand what we are talking about so this is the bladder here this uh क्या बोलेंगे इसको पिंकिश रेडिश कलर दैट्स द ब्लैडर लेटरल साइड से ये भी लेटरल साइड होगा ये भी लेटरल साइड होगा सो दिस लेटरल लिगमेंट जो है दैट इज नोन एज द लेटरल ट्रू लिगमेंट दोनों तरफ है इट प्रोवाइड्स सपोर्ट टू द यूरिनरी ब्लैडर 
ओके द अदर ब्लैडर इज लिटरल प्यूबो प्रोस्टेरिक लिगमेंट ऑल्सो लिटरल साइड पे है ब्लैडर को जोड़ेगा विद द प्रोस्टेट प्रेजेंट ओनली इन द मेल्स फीमेल्स में इट इज रिप्लेस्ड बाय द प्यूबो वेजिकल लिगमेंट ओके देन देयर इज अ मीडियल प्यूबो प्रोस्टेरिक लिगमेंट सो मीडियल प्यूबो प्रोस्टेरिक लिगमेंट एंड लिटरल प्यूबो प्रोस्टेरिक लिगमेंट सो pubo prostatic ligaments are uh, you know connecting obviously the uh, bladder with the uh, prostate right what next or kaun sa ligament hai janab there is median umbilical ligament which we have already discussed it is a remnant of urethra and connects the apex of the bladder with the umbilicus then there is a posterior ligament of the bladder which is directed backward because it is named posterior and upward along the vesical plexus of the veins it extends on each side from the base of the bladder to the wall of the pelvis so let's try to find out the uh, posterior ligament on the diagram so where is this is a posterior ligament you see it's a long broad one venous plexus aapko nazar aa rahi hai iske andar there's a lot of venous plexus in there a very important ligament because iska connection hai venous plexus ke sath ye examiner ka favorite question banta hai so lateral true ligament pubo vesical because ye female ka structure dekh rahe hain hum agar ye male body hoti to yahan pe pubo prostatic ligaments dikhte hain aapko medial and lateral and uh, then these posterior ligaments which are containing a lot of venous plexus so ye sare ligaments aapko yaad hone chahiye aur ye important hai acha phir false ligaments hain false ligaments wo ligaments hote hain jo hote hain but they actually do not provide big support to the bladder so they do not form any support to the bladder and they include median umbilical fold medial umbilical fold lateral fold false ligaments posterior false ligaments ye hum embryology mein padhte hain these are the remains of some of the uh, you know embryological connections but just remember the names nothing more important that okay now the interior of the bladder ab tak hum jo baat kar rahe the we have been talking about ki bladder bahar se kaisa dikhta hai superior surface kya hai inferior lateral surface kya hai base kya cheez hai now let's uh, talk about if we open up the bladder to wo andar se kaisa dikhta hai how does it look like internally this is what we are going to discuss now and it can actually be seen by cytoscopy is a technique by which you insert something into the bladder uh, and you try to see camera andar dal ke dekhte hain ki bladder ki walls kaisi hain in an empty bladder the greater part of the mucosa shows irregular folds due to its loose attachment to the muscular cord so that's the internal of the bladder that you see irregular folds in a small triangular area over the lower part of the base of the bladder the mucosa is very smooth and um, because yahan pe smooth muscle ke sath iski firm attachment hai mucosa ki and this area is known as the trigon of the bladder so if you look at this diagram aapko ye interior of the bladder dikh raha hai isme ek area bada zabardast smooth pinkish sa so that's the trigonal area the apex of the trigon is directed downward and forward so here is the apex of the trigon that's the apex of the trigon okay um and the internal urethral orifice opening into the urethra is located here so let's try to figure out see this is the internal urethral orifice ye aage sara urethra hai ye uska internal orifice hai iska matlab ye hai ki bladder se sara contact yahan enter hoga so this is the opening of urethra into the bladder at the area of the apex of the trigon the ureters open at the posterior lateral angles of the trigon ab ye jo trigon hai इसी के पोस्टेर और लेटरल यानी पोस्टेर साइड पे है और देखें लेटरल साइड पे है ये एक ओपनिंग और ये एक ओपनिंग दीज आर द ओपनिंग्स ऑफ यूरेटर्स सो ट्राइगोन इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एरिया बिकॉज यूरेटर्स ओपन भी इसमें हो रहे हैं और यूरेथ्रा भी एग्जिट यहीं से हो रही है सो यूरिन आ भी यहीं से रहा है यूरिन जा भी यहीं से रहा है सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑर्गन देयर ओपनिंग आर टू पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर अपार्ट इन दम टी ब्लैर एंड फाइव सेंटीमीटर अपार्ट इन द डिस्टेंडेड ब्लैर सो ये पॉइंट है कि जो दो यूरेटर्स की ओपनिंग है यानी एक ये पॉइंट और एक ये पॉइंट इनके बीच में जो डिस्टेंस है दैट्स रफली अबाउट 2.5 सेंटीमीटर 2.5 इफ इट इज एम लेकिन जब ये यूरिन से भर जाएगा तो ऑब्वियसली ब्लैडर डिस्टेंड हो जाएगा तो ये जो डिस्टेंस है ये बढ़ जाएगा एंड इट डबल्स इट बिकम्स ऑलमोस्ट 5 सेंटीमीटर a slight elevation on the trigon immediately posterior to the internal urethral orifice produced by the median lobe of the prostate is called the vulva vesicae the base of the trigon is formed by the interureteric ridge or the bar of mercier produced by the continuation of the inner longitudinal muscle that's too much of the detail nobody asked this in exam forget about it the ridge extends beyond the urethric openings 
as the ureteric fold over the interstitial part of the ureters. So that's not an important thing which you have to remember. Just remember the ureteric openings, their distance, the urethral opening. Okay, that this area is trigon. That's something that you have to remember. Now uh, we will also talk about what is uh, ovula vesicae. Ham iske baare mein padenge bhi thodi der mein. That's an important structure as well. Now let's talk about the capacity of the bladder. The mean capacity, yani kitna units mein jama ho sakta hai. An adult male is about 220 ml. Uh, varying from 120 to 320 but the average is 220 ml filling beyond 220 ml causes desire to micturate yani when you feel like you need to go to toilet jab aapko ye mehsoos hota hai ki aapko restroom jana hai so this is where your urine volume is actually reached and the bladder is usually emptied when filled to about 250 to 300 ml yahan bas ho jati hai and you try to rush to the washroom filling of up to 500 ml may be tolerated ye aapki capacity hai tolerate karne ki but aadha liter yani 500 ml se zyada it becomes painful i mean i'm sure there must have been instances in your life when you have like a painful feeling ke now bas you have to go to the washroom ab jana hi hai so that is usually when you have already accumulated about half a liter of urine referred pain is felt in the lower part of the anterior abdominal wall perineum and pelvis this is the nerve root supply when the bladder is full you start feeling feeling this okay now the arterial supply the main arterial supply is from the superior and inferior vesical arteries vesical word is for bladder and there actually branches from the internal iliac artery or there is also additional supply which is uh, from the inferior gluteal arteries and in females from the uterine and the vaginal which are the nearby arteries that's the principle that the nearby vessels usually supply the supporting structures jo aas paas hote hain venous drainage kahan hai ji lying on the inferior lateral surface of the bladder there is a vesical venous plexus so that is another important point to remember about the uh, you know inferior lateral surface ye wali surface yahan pe vesicular venous plexus maujood hai okay veins from this plexus pass backward in the posterior ligament you remember posterior ligament mein maine aapko bataya tha ki there are venous plexus isme veins hain to is ligament se veins guzarti hain and um, they drain into the internal iliac veins so that's the root for venous drainage then the uh, most of the lymphatics from the urinary bladder terminate in the external iliac node that's the lymphatic or uh, then they pass on to the lateral aortic lymph nodes nerve supply important the urinary bladder is supplied by vesical plexus of nerves which is made up of the fibers derived from inferior hypogastric plexus the vesical plexus contains both important point sympathetic as well as parasympathetic nerve supply each of which contains motor as well as efferent as well as sensory yani ke afferent fibers aapko ye mere sympathetic aur parasympathetic uh, ke maine alag se bhi lectures diye hue hain just search on my channel aapko mil jayenge autonomic nervous system humne kar rakha hai anatomy mein neuro anatomy mein alag kara hua hai aur general anatomy mein alag kiya hua hai to aapko pata hona chahiye ki how does parasympathetic system work what is the organization of the sympathetic system so the bladder is supplied by both okay parasympathetic jo fibers hain efferent fibers which means they carry information to the uh, vesicle yani to the bladder information aati hai from the higher centers these parasympathetic efferent fibers are called nervi erigentes or root values hain as 2 3 and 4 they are motor to detrusor muscle important point here detrusor muscle ki contraction is under the parasympathetic influence these nerves do not supply the preprostatic sphincter sphincter ko supply nahi kar rahe if these are destroyed normal micturation is not possible because normal micturation may you need detrusor muscle to be contracting if these is these nerves are gone koi accident hua ya whatever problem and you have damage at s2 s3 s4 level these nerves are gone then detrusor muscle will not be able to contract and urination will be a problem sympathetic supply is from t12 and l2 puri range t11 t12 um, l1 l2 uh, said to be inhibitory to detrusor parasympathetic fibers are contract karwate hain detrusor ko ye relax karwate hain and in fact they are motor to the preprostatic sphincter so jo internal sphincter hai uske liye ye motor hai let me find a diagram for you so this is the diagram for example here is the sphincter ye sphincter khulega to urine jayegi ye sphincter band hoga to urine urethra mein nahi jayegi so that's an important point to remember ki sympathetic jo fibers hain wo detrusor muscle ko relax kar वारे नेगेटिव साइन का मतलब है दे आर मेकिंग इट रिलैक्स इनहिबिटरी है डेट्रोसर के लिए लेकिन सिंपैथेटिक फाइबर्स इस 
स्फिंक्टर के लिए दे आर यू नो एक्साइटेटरी प्लस यानी कॉन्ट्रैक्ट करवाएंगे बंद करवाएंगे यूरिन आउटफ्लो नहीं होगा पैरासिम्पैथेरी का इसका उल्टा है पैरासिम्पैथेरी डिट्रेसर को कॉन्ट्रैक्ट करवाएगा स्फिंक्टर को एक्चुअली uh, कोई सप्लाई नहीं है सो बेसिकली काइंड ऑफ रिलैक्स होगा सो द यूरिन कैन गो आउट डेट्रेसल कॉन्ट्रैक्शन के साथ यूरिन गो आउट बनना समझ में आता है सो दैट इज द जॉब ऑफ द पैरासिम्पैथेरिक सिस्टम और डेट्रेसल को रिलैक्स करना इज द जॉब ऑफ द सिम्पैथेरिक वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डायग्राम फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड द सिम्पैथेरिक एंड द पैरासिम्पैथेरिक सप्लाई ऑफ द यूरिनेट ब्लैडर देन देर इज अ Somatic supply as well, which is by the pudendal nerve S2, S3, and S4. It's the same root value as that of the parasympathetic supply. It supplies the sphincter urethra, which is voluntary and is situated within the wall of the urethra. So that is a voluntary sphincter urethra, wall of the urethra, pudendal nerve. That is a voluntary sphincter supplied by the pudendal nerve. Okay, you can control its contraction, relaxation, at any time. Then there are sensory nerves. Then there are sensory nerves. Pain sensation for pain caused by the distension or spasm of the bladder wall. are carried mainly by the parasympathetic nerves and also to some extent by the sympathetic system in the spinal cord the pain arising in the bladder passes through the lateral spinothalamic tract watch my neuroanatomy videos to understand what is lateral spinothalamic tract and awareness of the bladder distension you feel bhi to hota na ki urine se bhar gaya hai bladder that is mediated by the posterior column ओके अगेन मेरी न्यूरो एनाटमी के लेक्चर्स बाय लेटरल एंटेरो लेटरल कॉडाटमी दे फॉर सिलेक्टिवली एबॉलिश स्पेन बाय लेटरल यानी दोनों तरफ एंटेरो लेटरल स्पाइनल कॉर्ड की अगर सर्जरी करके वो पार्ट रिमूव करें फॉर सम रीजन हम पढ़ेंगे ये डिफरेंट न्यूरो एनाटमी के केसेस में तो इट सेलेक्टिवली अबॉलिश पेन विदाउट अफेक्टिंग द अवेयरनेस ऑफ द ब्लैडर डिस्टेंशन बियो के डिस्टेंशन का जो इंफॉर्मेशन है दैट इज गोइंग थ्रू द पोस्टीरियर कॉलम एंड इफ यू आर डिस्टर्बिंग ओनली द एंटेरो लेटरल पार्ट then you are actually removing the pain sensation but distension pata hi ye baaz dafa ye karte bhi hain surgery mein wo patients jinko bahut zyada pain ho raha hai kisi wajah se aur they want to get rid of the pain sensation but they still want to obviously keep the uh, you know sensation of distension taki unko feel ho ke distend ho gaya bladder so that they can go to the washrooms and toilets to ye sensations intact rakhne ke liye this is the thing procedure to be done bilateral anterior lateral cordotomy because isse pain fiber remove ho jayenge lekin distension ke फाइबर जो पोस्टीरियर कॉलम में होते हैं वो इंटैक्ट रहेंगे ओके सो दैट्स द स्टोरी ऑफ द नर्व सप्लाई देन वी हैव टू टॉक अबाउट द हिस्टोलॉजी ऑफ द यूनिट ब्लैडर एक्चुअली इस पे मेरी अलग से वीडियो है फ्रॉम इंदरबीर सिंह तो मेरी वो वीडियो देखिएगा हिस्टोलॉजी मैं यहां पे अभी नहीं छेड़ता इसको ठीक है मैं लिंक दे देता हूं डिस्क्रिप्शन में ताकि आपको वीडियो ढूंढने में आसानी हो बट हिस्टोलॉजी ऑफ यूनिट ब्लैडर इज अ सेपरेट टॉपिक अलग से मैंने इसको करवाया हुआ है ओके okay? now a few clinical points the interior of the bladder can be examined by a camera called uh, cystoscope or oh, you know diagram bhi diya that's a cystoscope cystoscope is a procedure by which you go inside the bladder by the urethra this is the penis you insert the thingy and inside the bladder wall you start seeing that so that is called cystoscopy a distended bladder may be ruptured by injuries of the lower abdominal wall the peritoneum may or may not be involved depending upon blow ya rupture kahan hua hai chronic obstruction to the outflow of the urine by an enlarged prostate because urethra ke aas pass prostate hai agar prostate size mein badh jayega so there will be obstruction of the bladder aur ye pura bladder wall ki jo morphology hai wo change ho jayegi in the operation of the supra pubic cystotomy the bladder is distended about 300 ml of fluid dalkar as a result the anterior aspect of the bladder comes into direct contact with the anterior abdominal wall and you are dealing with the bladder without entering the peritoneal cavity so artificially usko distend kiya jata hai by entering 300 ml usual capacity hamare bladder ki 220 ml hai but we can hold up till 500 ml so 300 ml dal ke uska size bada dete hain taki easily deal kiya ja sake anterior surface ke sath aur anteriorly uh, easy deal karne ka matlab ye hai ki peritoneum upar reflect ho gayi hai so you are not entering into the peritoneal cavity you are only entering into the bladder Emptying of the bladder is essentially a reflex function involving the motor and the sensory pathway. Voluntary control over the reflex is exerted through the upper motor neuron of the pudendal nerve. मैंने आपको यहाँ diagram में बताया there is a voluntary control as well, pudendal nerve. Uh, so remember these things are all very you know interrelated. Acute injury to the cervical or the thoracic segment of the spinal cord leads to a state of spinal shock. The muscles of the bladder is relaxed because आपको ये detrusor muscle की कहानी याद रखनी है कि detrusor muscles पर सिंपैथेटिक सप्लाई जो है दिस इज इनिबिटरी सो रिलैक्स करेगा कॉन्ट्रेक्शन करवाना एस टू एस फोर पैरासिम्पैथेटिक अगर ये डैमेज होंगे तो ये रिलैक्स रहेंगे अगर ये डैमेज होंगे तो ये कॉन्ट्रेक्टेड रहेंगे इस तरह की स्टोरी है now the bladder stands now after a few days the bladder starts contracting reflexly when it is full 
इट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एवरी टू टू फोर आवर्स दिस इज कॉल्ड ऑरोमेटिक रिफ्लेक्स ब्लैडर ये हम अभी नहीं डिस्कस कर रहे पैथोलॉजिकल कंडीशन में डिस्कस करेंगे सो एक्चुअली यूरिनरी ब्लैडर की जो एनाटमिकल जितने पॉइंट्स है दे आर दे आर डन यू नीड टू नो द सर्फेस यू नीड टू नो द रिलेशन यू नीड टू नो द इंटरनल हाउ डज इट लुक लाइक एंड यू आर्टिकल सप्लाई वीनस सप्लाई डिफरेंट लिगामेंट्स दे आर ऑल एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू ओके सो विद दिस वी नाउ मूव ऑन टू द डिस्कशन फॉर यूरिथ्रा आइए स्टार्ट करते हैं कि वॉट आर द डिफरेंट यूरिथ्रा रिलेटेड डिस्कशन इन एनाटमी यूरिथ्रा की सबसे पहले तो मैं आपको ये बता दूँ कि द मेल यूरिथ्रा एंड द फीमेल यूरिथ्रा These are two different separate anatomical entities. Because मैं बार बार ये बात कर रहा हूँ कि देखें so that's a male body. So in male there is a penis. So this this is the copulatory organ. This is the organ which enters into the vagina of the female during reproduction. So ये जो पूरा organ इतना elongated organ है इसकी पूरी length से अंदर से urethra गुजर रही है So obviously urethra is going to be a very long structure in males. जबकि females में because there is no penis, so the uh, the size of the urethra is very small. इसीलिए anatomically मेल यूरिथ्रा अलग से एक्सप्लेन की हुई है और फिर आगे चल के फीमेल यूरिथ्रा आएगी सो विल टॉक अबाउट फीमेल यूरिथ्रा लेटर ऑन ओके मेल यूरिथ्रा इज 18 टू 20 सेंटीमीटर्स लॉन्ग एंड इट एक्सटेंड्स फ्रॉम द इंटरनल यूरिथ्रल ऑरिफिस व्हिच इज इन द यूरिनल ब्लैडर एक्चुअली सो हेयर इज द ब्लैडर और ये बिल्कुल ब्लैडर जहां खत्म हो रहा है दैट इज व्हाट इज नोन एज द यू नो इंटरनल ऑरिफिस तो यहां से यूरिथ्रा स्टार्ट होता है इट बिगिनस विद द इंटरनल यूरिथ्रल ऑरिफिस इन द ब्लैडर to the external opening which is the meatus at the end of the penis so it starts from here this is the point jahan se urethra start ho raha hai and then it's all going all the way itna bada 18 20 cm and then it is ending here so that is the long urethra in males it's a very long tube 18 to 20 cm okay and it is considered into two parts relatively short posterior urethra which is 4 cm long it lies in the pelvis proximal to the corpus spongiosum and is acted upon by the urino urogenital sphincter mechanisms and also act as a conduit now posterior jo urethra hai iske teen parts hain so actually uh, what we are talking about is the urethra is basically studied and considered in two parts one is known as the anterior part uh, and the other one is known as the posterior part so if the uh, posterior part is the one that we discuss right now iske phir further teen divisions hain there is a pre prostatic part there is a prostatic part and then there is a membranous part ye teeno parts of urethra are you know uh, components of posterior urethra obviously the posterior urethra is uh, at the posterior side and the anterior urethra is the one which actually you know uh, uh, distally it's in the penis so it's a long structure about 16 cm long within the perineum Uh, and in the penis, it is surrounded by the corpus spongiosum and is functionally a conduit. यानी ये जो पूरा corpus spongiosum से bulb of penis इसके अंदर से जो urethra गुजर रही है, that is the anterior part of the urethra. और इसके पीछे जितना part है, that is all the posterior part. अभी जो posterior part है, उसमें there is a pre-prostatic part, यानी prostate से पहले. Then obviously there is a prostatic part और उसके बाद membranous part. तो ये वाला जो portion है, all this portion, this is known as the posterior part of the urethra aur iske baad ye jo sara portion hai this is known as the anterior part of the urethra to yaad rahiye baat asaan hai posterior part and the anterior part posterior part ke further kitne parts hain teen pre prostatic prostate se pehle chhota sa part then prostatic part which is in the uh, through the prostate and then there is a membranous part uh, to ye teeno parts milkar pre prostatic prostatic and membranous all these three uh, they combine together to make the posterior urethra okay and this is the anterior urethra right so anterior urethra actually passes through the penis so again if you look at this diagram another view is mein har cheez ko aise lamba karke rakh diya hai so ye prostate hai prostate se pehle kya hoga pre prostatic part then prostatic part and then membranous part to ye wala part of the urethra will be the posterior part of the urethra and then this ye wala part jo ke penis mein se guzar raha hai this is going to be the anterior part of the urethra so now i think you should have an idea what do we mean by anterior and the posterior part so anterior urethra mein there is bulbar urethral component which is surrounded by the bulbo spongiosus muscle so that is the bulb of the penis so that's the bulbar part or uh, there then there is a pedunculus or uh, the pendulous or the penile component that continues the tip of the penis so this is all the penile component so this is the penile part so mai isko thoda sa rub kar deta hu so that you understand what we are talking about that's the bulb of the penis so that is the bulbous part this is the penile part which is passing through the penis throughout the length of the penis in flexed penis which means when the penis is not erect 
urethra as a whole represent a double curve except during the passage of the fluid along it the urethra canal is a mere slit so you basically go bahut mota sa pipe nahi hai it's a very small slit or transverse section mein jo urethra slit hai it is crescentic or transverse in the prostatic part yani agar prostatic part se aap usko cut karke dekhein so wo is tarah se uh, uski dull shape nazar aati hai lumen agar aap penile part se usko cut karke dekhein so that's how you see uh, you know circular uh, a little oval एक्सटर्नल यूरिथ्रल और इफिस पर और जो मेमरीनस यूरिथ्रा है आई लाइक दिस वन लाइक अ फ्लावर नाउ तो ये सारे इनके ट्रांसफर सेक्शन में जो इंटरनल लाइनिंग या इंटरनल ट्यूब आप कह लें वो इस तरह से दिखती हैं इट्स अ क्रिसेंटिक स्लिट इन द प्रोस्टेटिक पार्ट इट इज स्टिलइट इन द प्री प्रोस्टेटिक और द मेमरेनस पार्ट ये मेमरेनस पार्ट में देख रहे हैं स्टिलेट शेप स्टार शेप्ड एंड बल्बर एंड पिनाइल दे आर सिंपली यू नो एन ओपनिंग लाइक दिस ट्रांसफर्स इसको हम कहते हैं बिकॉज इट इज लॉन्ग अलॉन्ग द ट्रांसफर्स एक्सेस एंड द एक्सटर्नल यूरिथ्रल ऑरफिस पे इट इज सजाइटल बिकॉज ये अलॉन्ग द सजाइटल एक्सेस इट इज लॉन्ग तो ये इतना इंपॉर्टेंट याद रखना नहीं है बस द बॉटम लाइन ये है कि इट्स वेरी यू नो स्मॉल स्लिट लाइक ओपनिंग इन द यूरिथ्रा ये कोई ट्यूब बहुत बड़ा ट्यूब नहीं है ठीक है पैसेज ऑफ द यूरिन थ्रू द डिफरेंट शेप्स ऑफ द यूरिथ्रा कॉजेज इट टू फ्लो इन द कंटिन्यूस स्ट्रीम सिंस इट इज पासिंग अंडर प्रेशर स्ट्रीम फॉल्स अ लिटिल अवे फ्रॉम द बॉडी मेल्स कैन यूरिनेट स्टैंडिंग विदाउट वेरिंग दैम सेल्फ सो ये जो पूरी मैकेनिक्स है ना ये जो पूरा प्लम्बिंग आर्किटेक्चर है इसका फायदा ये है कि इफ दिस इज द पेन इज सो इफ द पर्सन यूरिनेट्स इवन बाय स्टैंडिंग व्हाट दे वुड डू इज एक प्रेशर से लिक्विड यहाँ जाएगा एंड इट विल गो टू सम डिस्टेंस देयर फॉर यू कैन यू नो यूरिनेट इवन बाई स्टैंडिंग डायरेक्टली इन द फ्लश फीमेल्स कान डू दैट बिकॉज दे डू नॉट हैव दैट लॉन्ग स्ट्रक्चर सो इफ दे स्टार्ट पींग बाई स्टैंडिंग दे विल वेक्ट दैम उनकी थाइस पर लीक होगा सारा यूरिन बिकॉज द यूरेथरल ऑरिफिस इज राइट एट द body surface so they will be wetting themselves but males i mean they have this luxury at least anyways now we have to have some words about uh, different parts of uh, urethra so if you talk about the posterior part maine kya bataya ke posterior part ke kitne component hai teen component number 1 is the pre prostatic number 2 is the prostatic number 3 is the membranous so let's talk about the pre prostatic part pre prostatic part is a very small part of the urethra this is only 1 to 1.5 cm in length it extends almost vertically from the bladder neck to the verum montanum in the prostatic urethra so if you look at the diagram here prostatic urethra uh, yani it begins from the base of the bladder and it ends only about a centimeter up till the verum montanum structure so that is a very very small structure pre prostatic urethra it's a very very small structure the pre prostatic urethra just up till here and then continues the prostatic urethra okay uske naam se zahir hai na pre prostatic prostate se pehle pehle hai the pre prostatic part is surrounded by proximal urethral sphincter mechanism so yahan pe sphincter mechanism jo hai wo proximal sphincter kehlata hai because it's proximal जो आगे होगा वो डिस्टल कहलाएगा अब ये प्रोक्सिमल यूरिथरल स्फिंक्टर मैकेनिज्म है क्या In addition to the smooth muscle bundles which run in continuity from the bladder neck down to the prostatic urethra and distinct from the smooth muscles within the prostate is smooth muscle bundles surround the bladder neck and pre prostatic urethra so it is surrounded by smooth muscles that is the bottom line they are arranged as distinct circular collar which has its own distinct adrenergic innervation the bundles which form this pre prostatic sphincter are small in size compared to the muscle bundles of the detrusor muscle and they are separated by relatively larger connective tissue component they are also different in that unlike detrusor and rest of the urethral smooth muscles the pre prostatic sphincter is almost totally devoid of the parasympathetic supply very important so ye jo pre prostatic sphincter banta hai is pure area par uh, jo pre prostatic urethra ke area hai this pre prostatic sphincter is surrounded by smooth muscles they are supplied only by the sympathetic fibers no parasympathetic supply or sympathetic supply jab uh, yahan par aati hai so you remember the diagram that we previously discussed the innervation diagram so the sympathetic fibers constrict this sphincter and they relax the detrusor muscle so that's an important thing to remember okay so sympathetic supply will constrict it now contraction of the pre prostatic urethra is very important because agar ye contract nahi hoga to ejaculation ke waqt if somebody is having you know uh, release out of sperms the reproductive fluids they 
कैन गो बैक इन टू द यूरिनरी ब्लैडर तो ये स्पिंक्टर बंद होना जरूरी है ये बंद होगा बाय द सिंपेथेरिक सप्लाई ये बंद होगा तभी ये रिट्रोग्रेड इजैकुलेशन नहीं होगी वरना तो ब्लैडर में चला जाता काफी सारा सीमेन और ये अच्छी बात नहीं है सो इन टू द ब्लैडर इट डज नॉट गो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस स्पिंक्टर it may maintain continence when external sphincter has been damaged obviously this sphincter is important uh, ki isme se semen uparna chala jaye dusra jab urine ko rokna hai bladder ke andar tab bhi ye contract hi karwana padega na taki urine bahar na nikle isi ko to hum continence kehte hain incontinence ye hota hai ki har waqt urine dribble karti rahe into the urethra that is known as the incontinence so ye jo sphincter hai it is important for two reasons number 1 ejaculate ko bladder mein nahi jaane deta number 2 ye urinary continence rakhta hai इनकॉन्टिनेंस नहीं होता नहीं करने देता ओके इट इज एक्सटेंसिव डिस्ट्रप्टेड इन वास्ट मेजोरिटी इन मैन इफ देर इज ब्लैडर नेक सर्जरी तो ये मसल डैमेज होगा इफ देर इज ट्रांस यूरेथरल रिसेक्शन ऑफ द प्रोस्टेट की सर्जरी की तो ये मसल डैमेज हो सकता है और इन मसल्स के डैमेज में देर विल बी रिट्रोग्रेड इजैकुलेशन इन दीज पेशेंट्स एंड दीज पेशेंट्स विल ऑल्सो एक्सपीरियंस यूरिनरी इनकॉन्टिनेंस ओके इट इज एबसेंट इन फीमेल्स सिंपल म्यूक वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट बाई द वे सिंपल म्यूक सीग्रेटिंग ग्लैंड लाइ इन दिश्यू अराउंड प्री प्रोसेड यूरेथ्रा सराउंडिंग दीज सिंपल ग्लैंड सिमिलर टू दोज ऑफ द फीमेल यूरेथ्रा एंड लाइक सो नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज हेयर दिस इज दिस इज फिंगर मैकेजम इज एबसेंट इन फीमेल्स बिकॉज इन फीमेल्स ये जो इजेकुलेशन वाला प्रॉब्लम है ये तो है ही नहीं ना फीमेल्स में तो इस स्पिंक्टर का काम क्या था रिट्रो ग्रेड इजैकुलेशन ना हो इसको रोकना तो फीमेल में जो एजुकेशन वाली चीज ही नहीं है देर इज नो सच थिंग देर फॉर दिस फिंगर इज एबसेंट दिस मैकेनिज्म इज एबसेंट इन फीमेल सो दैट मैकेनिज्म कम्प्लीटली इज एबसेंट इन फीमेल ओके Now, ये था प्री प्रोस्टेटिक पार्ट ऑफ दी पोस्टेरियर पार्ट ऑफ द यूरेथ्रा नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द प्रोस्टेटिक पार्ट अब जो प्रोस्टेटिक यूरेथ्रा है इट इज स्मॉल इन लेंथ ओनली थ्री टू फोर सेंटीमीटर बट इसकी इंपॉर्टेंट बात यह है कि इट गोज एंड ट्रेवल्स थ्रू द प्रोस्टेट सो ये प्रोस्टेट ग्लैंड है और इसके बीच में से ये जो पूरी यूरेथ्रा गुजर रही है दैट इज वॉट यू कॉल द प्रोस्टेटिक प्री प्रोस्टेटिक जो यूरेथ्रा है वो प्रोस्टेट से पहले थी और प्रोस्टेटिक प्रोस्टेट से गुजरती है इट टनल्स थ्रू द सब्सटेंस ऑफ द प्रोस्टेट closer to the anterior than the posterior surface of the gland emerging from the prostate slightly anterior to the apex urethra turns inferiorly as it passes to the prostate making an angle of 35 this is all not very important throughout its length the posterior wall has uh, a midline ridge which is known as urethral crest let me see if this is visible in this diagram the urethral crest is in the middle this is the urethral crest so prostatic urethra ke uh, middle mein there is a crest called the urethral crest and uh, this crest projects into the lumen causing the lumen to appear crescentic in the transverse section maine abhi aapko upar diagram mein dikhaya tha ki lumen appears crescentic this is because of the push from the uh, the urethral crest on each side of the crest are shallow depressions called the prostatic sinuses the floor of which is perforated by the orifices of 15 to 20 prostatic ducts so um on the on both sides there will be uh, sinuses so urethral crest and on both the sides of the crest are the prostatic sinuses just the prostatic ducts khulti hain there is an elevation called verumontanum or also called the colliculus seminalis at about the middle of the urethral crest is crest ke beech mein ye ek elevation hai ek ubhar hai ek projection hai it contains slit like orifice of the post prostatic utricle on both sides of or just within this orifice are the two small openings of the ejaculatory ducts so let me see where are the ejaculatory ducts so This, for example, are the openings of the ejaculatory duct. So, ये जो पूरा section है यहाँ पर urethra ही के अंदर ejaculatory ducts open हो रही हैं, because यहीं पे ejaculatory liquid ने आना है और वो पे spill out होगा into the rest of the urethra. और ऊपर नहीं जाएगा, because you remember यहाँ पे circular sphincter थे जो sympathetic nerves से supply होते हैं और ये sphincter पूरा close हो जाता है. So, ejaculatory ducts open into this part of the urethra, the prostatic part, right? Now the prostatic utricle. It's a cul-de-sac six millimeter long, which runs upwards and backwards in the substance of the prostate behind the median lobe. The walls are composed of fibrous tissue, muscle fibers, and mucous membrane. The mucous membrane, well, not too important because we are prostate. Me, padenge jab iski baat wahan aayegi. Is waqt I don't want to confuse you. Let's move on to the next part of the urethra, which is the membrane. So what we are doing? We are doing uh, the structure of urethra, urethral anatomy. Jisko maine aapko bataya ki there is a posterior part and there is an anterior part. 
जो पोस्टेरियर पार्ट है उसमें देयर इज प्री प्रोस्टेटिक पार्ट देयर इज अ प्रोस्टेटिक पार्ट जो प्रोस्टेट से गुजरता है एंड देन देयर इज अ मेम्ब्रेनस पार्ट सो नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द मेम्ब्रेनस पार्ट इट इज 1.5 सेंटीमीटर शॉर्टेस्ट लीस्ट डायलेरेबल एंड विद द एक्सेप्शन ऑफ द एक्सटर्नल ऑरिफिस इज द नैरोएस्ट सेक्शन ऑफ द यूरेथ्रा सो दैट्स एन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग टू रिमेंबर सो मेनी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स फॉर दिस मेम्ब्रेनस पार्ट इट इज द शॉर्टेस्ट इट इज द नैरोएस्ट एंड इट इज द लीस्ट डायलेरेबल यानी इसमें ये इंपॉर्टेंट इसलिए भी है क्योंकि जब आप कैथेटर पास करते हैं या कोई भी यू नो सिस्टोस्कोपी के लिए इंस्ट्रूमेंट पास करते हैं फ्रॉम द यूरिथ्रा दिस इज द पार्ट जिसमें फिर रप्चर के चांसेस ज्यादा हैं क्योंकि ये डायलेट नहीं होता इट्स अ फिक्स्ड पार्ट डिसेंड्स विद अ स्लाइट वेंट्रल कन्कैवरी फ्रॉम दिस इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट बट जस्ट रिमेंबर कि दिस इज द वेरी शॉर्ट द शॉर्टेस्ट एक्चुअली एंड लीज डायलेटेबल पार्ट एंड वेरी फिक्स्ड now walls of the membranous urethra that is part of the external or distal uh, urethral sphincter mechanism ek sphincter mechanism maine aapko bataya tha which was known as the proximal urethral sphincter mechanism which was present here now we have a distal urethral sphincter mechanism so that is present um, at the you know uh, membranous part of the urethra its muscle coat is separated from the epithelium by a narrow layer of the fibroelastic connective tissue muscle coat consists of relatively thin layer of bundles of smooth muscles which are continuous proximally with those of the prostatic urethra and a prominent outer layer of the circulatory so basically yahan par bhi there is a ring of uh, smooth muscle which is actually making the sphincter type of mechanism here the external sphincter represent point of highest trans urethral pressure in the normal and contracted state um, because of this sphincter obviously the pressure is high the intrinsic striated muscle is made up of fibers of a small diameter devoid of muscle spindles physiologically being slow twitch type unlike the pelvic floor uh, with the heterogeneous mixture of slow and fast fibers so ye fibers kis type ke it's not an important story but the point is that not only there are smooth muscles there are also striated muscles okay right now so slow twitch fibers from the sphincter are capable of sustained contraction over the long period of time so that the person can hold the urine and contribute to the tone that closes the urethra and maintains the urinary continence agar ye uh, sphincter mechanism kaam nahi karega to urine will spill out it will uh, dribble down there will be incontinence so several components of the distal urethral sphincter mechanisms are smooth muscles striated muscle the rapto sphincter and the pubo urethral part of the levator and eye muscle as well uh, which is very important to resist the intra abdominal pressure such as when you are coughing or exercising your urine does not come out because of the levator and eye muscle particularly the pubo urethral part which makes a sling and try to close the exit through the membranous urethra सो so, ये सारे जो तीनों पार्ट्स हमने अभी पढ़े हैं प्री प्रोस्टेटिक प्रोस्टेटिक एंड मेम्ब्रेनस दे वर ऑल द पोस्टीरियर पार्ट ऑफ द यूरिथ्रा नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द इंटीरियर पार्ट नाउ द इंटीरियर ऑफ द स्पॉन्जियस पार्ट लाइज इन द कॉर्पस स्पॉन्जियोजम एंड इज 16 सेंटीमीटर इट्स वेरी लॉन्ग आप बाकी ये सब देख लें कितने छोटे छोटे थे वन सेंटीमीटर फोर सेंटीमीटर वन सेंटीमीटर नाउ दिस इज सिक्सटीन सेंटीमीटर इट्स अ वेरी लॉन्ग पार्ट ऑफ द यूरिथ्रा सो इट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हेयर ऑल दिस इज द इंटीरियर पार्ट and this is very long 16 cm okay um when the penis is flexed it extends from the membranous urethra to the external urethral orifice or the glans penis so iski extend hai from the membranous urethra which is right there so that bit is the membranous urethra yahan se lekar it continues up till the glans penis okay ye iski extent hai and uh, part of the anterior urethra which is surrounded by the bulbo spongiosus is the bulbar urethra and is white part of the urethra bulbo urethra glands open into this and uh, from here when the penis is flexed which means it's not erect the urethra curves downward which is the penile urethra it is now uh, uh, you know agar uski hum anatomy dekhein it is very narrow and slit like when empty and has diameter of 6 mm when passing the urine so basically it opens up when it's passing the urine and it makes sense it is dilated at its termination within the glans penis and the dilation is called the navicular fossa so agar is pure ko hum dekhein so ye initial part jo hai ye iska bulbar part hai ye iska penile part hai and this is the navicular fossa to glans penis mein iski jo dilation hai this dilation is called uh, dilation of the urethra obviously it is called navicular fossa 
Okay. Now, external urethral orifice is the narrowest part of the urethra, and it's a sagittal stay six millimeter long, bounded on each side by the small labium, epithelium of the urethra. But these are all easy stuff. Yar, khud padlo ye. Urethral glands jis me open hote hain. Uh, okay. Now the arteries. That's an important bit. Urethral artery arises from the internal pudendal artery, or just below the perineal membrane, travels through the corpus spongiosum to reach the glans penis. So internal pudendal is the key word here. Or dorsal penile artery, why the circumflex branch. On each side, the veins. The anterior part of the urethra goes into the dorsal vein of the penis to the internal pudendal, which drains into the prostatic venous plexus, and ultimately to the internal iliac vein. You have to remember it this way. The posterior part here it also ultimately goes into the internal iliac, but via the prostatic and the vesical venous plexus. Lymphatic drain. Prostatic urethra into internal iliac, membranous urethra into internal iliac nodes, and anterior urethra into deep inguinal. So different routes for posterior. These are the posterior parts of the urethra, and this is obviously the anterior urethra going into the deep inguinal region. Uh, nervous innervation, prostatic plexus supplies the smooth muscles of the prostate and the prostatic urethra. Parasympathetic nerves from second S2, S3, S4. Uh, greater cavernous nerves are sympathetic to the pre. Uh, prostatic sphincter during ejaculation yani usko wo close kar dete hain taki retrograde ejaculation now ye sari baat hum already kar chuke hain nerve supply of the rhabdo sphincter which is the skeletal muscle fiber of the striated muscle fibers of the membranous urethra is controversial but is said to be uh, you know neurons in on of nuclear uh, well basically uh, second sacral segment aapne yaad rakhna hai for the rhabdo sphincter the striated muscle baki ye sab cheeze itni important nahi hai so don't uh, overburden yourself with stuff which is not very important traumatic urethra injured by fall stride or straddle result in injury to the penile urethra in the perineum obviously this is uh, uh, you know uh, much more prone because this is the most hanging part of the urethra outside the body so this penis is hanging outside the body this is pro this is prone to any sort of injury which uh, affects the penile structure okay now extravasation of the urine occurs but is prevented from going posteriorly as the perineal membrane and the membranous layer of the superficial fascia are continuous so hamari body ki superficial or uh, deep fascia ki arrangement is tarah se hai ki uh, the the spread of the urine is limited posteriorly laterally by the ischiopubic rami these limit the lateral release of urine and above the lesser pelvis by intact perineal membrane so ye aapko baat tab samajh mein aayegi jab aapne mere peritoneal fold wali video dekh rakhi ho theek hai now female ye sari kahani male urethra ki thi obviously isme humne penile urethra aur ye sab baat ki now female urethra is only टोटल लेंथ है फोर सेंटीमीटर टू सिक्स नॉट डायमीटर में सिक्स मिलीमीटर लेंथ में फोर सेंटीमीटर सो वेरी स्मॉल स्ट्रक्चर जबकि आपने देखा था कि सिर्फ पिनाइल यूरेथ्रा की जो लेंथ थी वो रफली अबाउट सिक्सटीन सेंटीमीटर थी सो Imagine now the total length of the female urethra is around only four centimeter. It begins at the internal urethral orifice of the bladder, and approximately opposite midline of the pubic symphysis, and runs anteriorly inferiorly behind the pubic symphysis, embedded in the anterior wall of the vagina. It's a very small structure. If it's bladder, then the bladder's uh, you know uh, lower part will start to open into the wall of the vagina. It just opens only four centimeter. It crosses the perineal membrane and ends in the external urethral orifice. So internal part, where this is going, it starts to open. that is the internal urethral orifice or jo vagina mein khulta hai that is the external urethral orifice theek hai now um opening iski kahan located hoti hai urethra ki it's usually 2.5 cm behind the glans clitoris ye isliye important hai iski location because agar aapko catheter insert karna hai so you should know ki females mein dalna kahan hai catheter opening hai ki the urethra ki into the vagina so you just open up the vaginal area and uh, locate the uh, orifice for uh, uh, urethral opening which is the external urethral orifice and insert the catheter directly into it male mein catheterization is much more easier because you just simply hold the penis and and Enter the uh, catheter right in the uh, glans penis, so that's much simpler. Females makes a little tricky, except during the passage of urine. The anterior and the posterior walls of the canal possess a ridge, which is termed as urethral crest. Uh, not so important, I would say. Many small mucous urethral glands and minute pit-like recesses or lacuna open into the urethra. Glands cool things. उसमें सब ठीक है यार ये इसमें कोई मुश्किल चीज नहीं है. Each para urethral duct again not important. So basically, urethra में अगर आप uh, uh, overall general structure देखें, so there are so many glands. Opening into it, 
सो uh, so इसी तरह फीमेल्स में भी होते हैं जिस तरह यहाँ के लैंड हैं ऐसे फीमेल्स में भी दीज लैंड आर कमिंग इन टू बेसिकली उसका पर्पज़ होता है टू प्रोवाइड रिक्वायर्ड लुब्रिकेशन मटीरियल टू दी यूरेथरल स्ट्रक्चर आर्टरीज इन द फीमेल सुपीरियर वैजिकल एंड वजाइनल आर्टरीज सप्लाई द यूरेथरा इन वेन्स अल्टीमेटली इन टू द इंटरनल आइलियक वेन्स वाया द वेनस प्लेक्सेज दैन दी वेजाइकल वेनस प्लेक्सेज द इंटरनल प्यूजेंडल एंड द मेन वेनस ड्रेनेज अल्टीमेटली द बिग वन इज इंटरनल आइलियक एंड लिम्फेरिक्स इज इंटरनल एंड एक्सटर्नल आइलियक lymph nodes uh, nerve supply parasympathetic preganglionic fibers from s2 s3 s4 of the spinal cord they run through the pelvic splanchnic nerves and synapses in the vesical venous plexus uh, nervous plexus actually post ganglionic fibers reach the smooth muscles so parasympathetic are reaching there and there are somatic fibers also from s2 s3 s4 there are also sensory fibers uh, traveling through s2 s3 s4 Uh, post ganglionic sympathetic fibers arise from the plexus around the vaginal arteries and they also reach uh, the uh, vesical wall so and the urethra so there is parasympathetic supply there is sympathetic supply there is sensory supply this is all very generic structure so this is very very generic har jagah aise hi hota hai usually na jo aapke abhi maine urinary bladder mein bhi bataya tha to isi tarah se tha there was a sympathetic supply parasympathetic supply there was sensory supply some somatic supply so that's a generic structure now walls of the urethra wall has uh, this is basically talking about the histology and histology of urethra is again a topic from indra beer singh so we are not going to discuss it uh, at the moment here micturation pe ek do mujhe comment karni hai cheeze initially the bladder fills without much rise in the intravesicular pressure yani ye bladder hai isme urine enter ho raha hai by the ureters to jaise jaise urine aayega pressure badhega initially bahut zyada nahi badhta but uh, baad mein obviously it starts getting increase jab quantity exceed karti hai 220 mm mm se mm kahe ya cc kahe ki baat hai ab intravesicular pressure rises this stimulates sensory nerves and produces desire to micturate if this is neglected there is a rhythmic reflex contraction of the detrusor muscle which become more and more powerful as the quantity of the urine increases this gives a feeling of fullness of the bladder which travels in the posterior ascending posterior column ascending tract okay now the voluntary holding of the urine is contraction of the sphincter urethra and the perineal muscles this ab hold karte hain urine ko micturation is then initiated by the following successive events first there is relaxation of the perineal muscles except the distal urethral sphincter jo ke basically voluntary control mein hai this is followed by firm contraction of the detrusor muscle ye pura detrusor muscle contract karta hai taki urine nikal sake into the urethra then lastly the distal urethral sphincter mechanisms relax and the flow of the urine begins the bladder is emptied uh, by the contraction of the detrusor muscle emptying is assisted by the contraction of the abdominal muscle so you try to push from the abdominal muscles as well when urination is complete the detrusor muscle relaxes the proximal urethral sphincter mechanism contracts and finally the distal urethral sphincter mechanism contract so ab sari cheeze band hona shuru ho jayengi in male the last drop of the urine are expelled from the bulbar portion of the urethra by contraction of the bulbo spongiosus so yahan pe jo surrounding muscles hai wo contract karke bhi last urine ko bhi expel kar dete hain drop ko okay so um, then what we have to study is the development of the urinary bladder again this is something that we have actually already done by langman meri embryology ki playlist mein ye lecture maujood hai okay so catheterization of bladder is very very routinely done surgical patients mein aap uh, pure urethra ke andar catheter insert karte hain bladder tak chale jate hain taki bladder mein jo bhi urine aaye wo urine rather than being stored kyunki soche na patient surgically long term agar ill hai surgery hui hai to ab wo kahan bar bar uth ke washroom jayega so uska ye sara jo urine hai wo catheter ke zariye ek urine bag mein collect kar liya jata hai and it is also good बिकॉज आप मॉनिटर कर सकते हैं कि पॉइंट फाइव लीटर यूरिन निकला है पूरे डे में या वन लीटर सो ये कैथेटर डालना इज कॉल्ड कैथेटराइजेशन रपच्चर ऑफ यूरेथ्रा वेल एक्सीडेंट सो मेनी थिंग्स हम पढ़ेंगे जब सर्जरी के लेक्चर्स करेंगे यूरेथ्राइडस इज द इन्फ्लमेशन ऑफ यूरेथ्रा एम्ब्रियोलॉजी में हमने ऑलरेडी किया हुआ है पीस्पीरियास एंड हाइपोस्पीरियास ये एबनॉर्मल ओपनिंग ऑफ द यूरेथ्रा है आइर ऑन टू द डॉजल सर्फेस और द वेंट्रल सर्फेस नया रपच्चर ऑफ पीनाइल यूरेथ्रा लीड्स टू कलेक्शन ऑफ यूरिन इन द सुपरफिशियल पैर इन सर्जरी के लेक्चर सो दीज आर नॉट गोइंग टू बी अंडरस्टूड हेयर सो दैट्स बेसिकली ऑल ये मैंने आपसे कहा कि मैं लैंगमेन में पढ़ाऊंगा आपको बिकॉज एम्ब्रियोलॉजी के लेक्चर्स हम अलग से कर रहे हैं ठीक है सो so, एक क्वेश्चन यहाँ दिया है इसको देख लेते हैं फिर चैप्टर एंड करते हैं अ फीमेल पेशेंट अबाउट फिफ्टी ईयर्स ऑफ एज सफर्ड इंजरीज इन हर पेल्विक रीजन 
X-rays show fracture of uh, pubic bones and catheterized urine specimen show presence of blood. यानी जब catheter डाला तो blood नजर आ रहा है urine bag के अंदर. What is the most likely organ to be injured? What, where is the blood coming from? And where would you extravasate the urine to go from ruptured bladder? यानी जब ये फटा होगा bladder तो कहाँ जाएगी urine? The organ ruptured is probably the urinary bladder. द प्यूबिक बोन्स बिकॉज ये इसकी रिलेशन ऐसी है ना प्यूबिक सिम्फिस के पीछे है ना तो प्यूबिक सिम्फिस अगर इस एरिया में एक्सीडेंट हुआ है तो चांसेस हैं कि ब्लैडर रप्चर हुआ है एज द ब्लैडर हैज रप्चर्ड अ फ्यू ब्लड वेसल्स इंजर्ड मेकिंग द यूरिन रेड सो दिस इज वाई इट इज अपियरिंग रेड यूरिन वुड पास इन द पेल्विक कैविटी एंड बिहाइंड असेंडिंग एंड डिसेंडिंग कॉलॉन्स इन टू द पैराकोलिक गटर्स अगेन ये आपको तब समझ में आएगा जब आपने मेरे पेरीटोनियल फोल्ड्स के लेक्चर पढ़ रखे होंगे सो गुड लक दिस इज मेडिसिन इज ऑल गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंटीग्रेटेड एक चैप्टर में ऑब्वियसली दूसरे चैप्टर का जिक्र है और पर्टिकुलरली अगर मेरी उस पर ऑलरेडी वीडियोज मौजूद हैं तो मैं आपको उसकी तरफ रेफर कर देता हूँ सो ट्राई रीडिंग द होल मेडिसिन एज यू नो अ टोटल सब्जेक्ट ये नहीं कि वो मुन्ना भाई में जैसा कहता है ना कि अपने को वैसे डॉक्टर नहीं बनना कि इधर क्या चल रहा है बॉडी के उस हिस्से को नहीं पता अपने को फुल टूच डॉक्टर बना सो फुल टूच डॉक्टर बनने के लिए आपको सारे लेक्चर्स मेरे सुनने पड़ेंगे सो ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट आपसे मुलाकात होगी अगली वीडियो में बहुत जल्द अपना ख्याल रखें